<laughs> Yo guys, what's up? Honey, back here for another video today. Uh, it's been a while. I look dusty, haven't shaved. I can't grow a beard, so I just look dusty. If you look at that, dusty. But I want to make a video about my car because I haven't done one recently, and I've done a lot to it. And you guys don't know about it much because I didn't record it. I was too excited. So everything's already installed, but I'm gonna make reviews on it anyways because I'm just I want to make videos, alright guys. But in today's video, I want to talk about the Cobb Access Port V3 and um, you know how I like it, how much it costs, it, was it worth it, all that good stuff, and we'll go into that right now. All right, so we're in the SUV. It's a little dirty, so I'm not gonna show you around. Uh, but here's the car. Actually, look at that. I just got an oil change, maybe like a couple weeks ago. I've already put on almost 600 miles. I'm turning this shit up, man. <clears throat> but anyways, here's the access port, right? Super simple to use, uh, super easy to install. Uh, and I'll show you guys how the install went. It's really just connecting this to your OBD2 sensor thing at the bottom, which mine's is like right here. And I just wired it up uh, through the back of the steering wheel, wired it up, and then just stuck it all there. Oh gosh, I almost dropped my camera. And yeah, and it's really easy to use. Like, so we'll go here. We'll go to the main menu, what it looks like. You have all these options. You get the setup, which of course I've already done, so I'm not going to go through there. But it's, it's like it there. Uh, the gauges, which is what most of your screens are usually on. Performance. You can actually record your performance and you can do stuff like that. Uh, so like, as in, do 60 miles, quarter mile runs, and actually like save it. Which is nice to have and nice to do. I don't know how to do that. This actually came in, in handy for me once, the troubleshooting menu. I had a code on there because I overboosted my car and I was doing a pull and I overboosted and I got scared. And I, you know, went to the forums and asked, and they were like, oh, you just overboosted, buddy. I was like, ah, you know, thanks. Because I never had a car with an actual full turbo. So I just cleared the code, never came back up. This is where you actually load the maps and stuff, if you want to change a map, or you can make adjustments. Like if you want to change um, the launch control, the RPMs, you can do that here, which is very nice to have. I've changed mine, you had it at like 3,500, and I changed it like to 4,000. So it's that's cool. Uh, you can change the map, so if you start out with a stage one tune, you can change it from a stage two tune. Very simple to use. Uh, you can just, you know, restore it off the map shelf, so you can even show the map you're currently on right now. And I'm on a stage two map plus because I have a downpipe. Downpipe. I have a heat shield, but I haven't installed it yet. Downpipe, cap back exhaust, air intake, turbo inlet. Um, not too much, but I still have some stuff. And then if you were to ever sell your uh, your Cobb Access Port, you can uninstall it and then just sell it there. So if you're gonna buy a used one. You have to, if you're gonna buy use one, you have to make sure it's uninstalled or else it won't work on your car. Very, very, uh, very important you do that. Now, back to the, back to the screen I'm always on. Uh, about performance or about like, I guess, how useful is it? I really think it's really useful. I don't know much of the stuff, but I'm learning it. So on a Subi, I guess, <clears throat> feedback knock is very important. I'm not sure for most cars it is, but feedback knock is very important. You don't want this number to be like this number right here. You don't want that number to be super high. You want it to kind of be like at it is right now low. Uh, Boost, you can measure how much boost you're hitting, the mass airflow sensor, uh, I guess that's just how much air you're pulling in, the intake temp, and I don't know what the other one is. I really just got this off of a form, and I just try to, trying to make sure I'm in the, I don't, at the right numbers. So I really don't know what it means, I just know that I'm supposed to be at these numbers, which is nice. And one thing I like about the boost, and you can set it up in different uh, different ways too, so you can actually change, um, I don't want we can actually change the gauges you see, how many gauges you see, uh, you see and then the units they're in. So you can change it from like Fahrenheit to uh, Celsius. You can do all that stuff, which is very really nice to have. Now, pricing on this guy, this retails are like $650, right? It's kind of high. Um, I definitely do recommend it. Now, I didn't get mine for $650. I bought it new, but I got it on a deal. I guess this guy, like I bought all my parts on Facebook, it's weirdly enough. This guy was selling an access port, V3, unused, never never opened, never, never did nothing with it. Uh, nameless downpipe. Uh, turbo inlet and air intake and I got all that for like a thousand something dollars uh, Which is crazy because this alone cost six hundred fifty dollars new so uh, Would I still recommend that you buy it definitely I would have still bought it even if I couldn't get it for that price I wanted to I would definitely still bought it um, and you can find them used on Facebook Craigslist eBay whatever they usually run for use maybe about like four to five hundred dollars you can find them on eBay for that price uh, I basically got mine for like four hundred or three hundred dollars around there uh, but I got mine new and which I like a lot. When you buy it new, it doesn't come with this mount back here. I had to buy this mount. It is magnetic, so you can just take this off. And you see, I have no back plate on here. This is a magnetic holder, so I just you know slide it on there, and it's good to go. Uh, you can buy them so they're mounted up on your air vents or in your windshield. Some people have them mounted back here on like the dash and stuff. Well, not the dash, but the odometer stuff, the temp, the gauges. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is nice to have. But I like mine in the corner. I think it looks really nice there. Uh, and I can wire it up here, so I don't see the cable. I just see this part right here, which isn't too bad. But 
I think it was very useful. I think it came out really great. I love it. I still have my little plastic thing on it. You can also buy uh, plates for it if you if you don't like the standard black. You can buy plates for it. Uh, I know Cobb on their website they sell carbon fiber ones, money money signs and stuff like that. Uh, you can probably get them custom too because it actually comes with a silver plate. And you can probably just take that off and paint it any color you want. But I just left mine nice black since my interior is pretty much all black. Except for the stupid silver trim. I don't know why they have that silver trim there. I'm probably going to wrap that in plastic dip it in black. But uh, other than that, I think this came out. I think the I think the Sport is a really useful thing to have. It's really nice. If you can get it used, I would highly recommend you get it used because it, it's just a some access port. Uh, and it's really, really nice to have. You can you can change the tune and the performance is, is a nice upgrade. Uh, I'm running the Stage 2 map and I can tell you what, I love hearing this car boost. I love hearing the way it sounds. I love the amount of like uh, performance. I love the performance I get on this thing. It's awesome. I might show you guys, I might show you guys a couple pulls and all that stuff, but um, highly recommend it. Is it worth the money? I think so. If you can get it used, definitely it's worth the money. Uh, is it useful? 100%. You have all these nice gauges to monitor. You can monitor your car. You can monitor performance. Uh, you can change these things. Like, let's see. Let me show you what you guys can uh, set up on there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's change. Uh, see, that's the part we can have multiple gauges set up. Focus, focus. There we go. Where? There we go. So you can have all these different types of things to monitor. I'm only monitoring five right now. I have. It shows. Um, let's go back. I only have five uh, things monitoring because this this uh, boost one is actually like a. Let me see if I can show you. My car's not moving, so I won't show you. But uh, I'll show you guys on the street um, how that works and how, you, how everything moves around.